What up players, it's Wobots Tape in this mod. This is an Alt Dwarf Swordsman. I'm going to be taking you through all of the paint schemes for the Empire Provinces for any Warhammer Fantasy players out there who have and want to touch up or for any new Empire players who want to do uh, or who want to see a kind of step by step of the different um, color schemes for all the Empire forces. So Alt Dwarf is red and blue. I've got a little bit of a, a fluff background history and um, just a general overview coming up with a special guest commentator. But um, like I said, I'm going to be going over all of the different paint schemes for the different provinces in case you want to change it up. If you're getting sick of the red and white Talapheim Empire look, this uh, can help you out. So let me know what you think. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit the like button, and um, we'll see you uh, as the tutorial progresses. What is up, players? Marius Frugeldink here, emissary to the Emperor Karl Franz, and today we've got a war boss tutorial on how to paint an Empire State Trooper Swordsman up in this mud. First, I shall read you fluffy goings on for the city state of uh, Altdorf whose color scheme we shall be following with this lovely gentleman meow, in the corner, right over meow. Altdorf is the largest and wealthiest city in the empire and is home to the imperial court. The Altdorf colors are red and blue and the city state flag bears icons befitting the ruling home of the emperor, the crown, the hammer of Sigmar, and the griffin's head. These symbols are commonly repeated in various forms by many Altdorf regiments who take righteous pride in being the preeminent city. The lavish uniforms and spit and polish of many units has earned the city-state a reputation. Detractors are quick to point out that many parade drill marches, but the storied history of Altdorf regiments in many battles throughout the whole of the Empire tells a tale of well-disciplined bravery. Many regiments celebrate their famous victories with commemorative medals or seals. So, we shall be painting an Altdorfian swordsman using uh, righteous colors of red, blue, and gold as befitting such a glorious and well, uh, uh, well equipped force of the Empire of Man. The colors that Warbaste will be using are Foundations Mechrite Red, Mordian Blue, never cared for those Mordians, too stuck up. Oh, my favorite, Deneb Stone. No idea what this is. Tal, Ur, Fl. Some O, M. Calthen Brown. Lovely state, Calthen. Beautiful in the summer. Thraka Green. Devon Mud. Ogren Flesh. Never cared for those Ogrens. Very dirty. Badab Black. Horrible war. Horrible war in the Badab sector. Chainmail. Everyone needs it. And a little bit of bleached bone. Alright, Warboss Tea. That's enough of that's enough of my part of the video. Now hand me my hand me my four quid and I'll be on my way. <clears throat> Thank you, Marius. Alright, so guest narrator Marius. Fufful Dink, everybody. Let's get started. Make right red. Yes, yes. I'm gonna be following the um like I said, the Altdorf book. Or the Altdorf uh, color scheme in the city uh, uniforms and heraldry of the Empire book. So, like I said, we're going to be going with the, the illustration that you saw in the bottom right, or in the bottom left, so I'm going to be holding it uh, right on my lap while I'm painting. Yeah, so these new pictures have gotten me so excited. I'm halfway filming my the next part of my my ogre tutorial, the Iron Blaster. I've <coughs> started filming the High Elf um, Swordmaster tutorial, but I just had to had to get this in. I'll be doing a color conversion chart 
so that you can go back to all of my videos if you want and um, use the new colors when they're released. To um, you know, plot, plot out and plan how you're going to paint your guys with the new colors. So I'm going to be going for a very quick paint job. Um, because state troopers are in a dime a dozen, or I guess a shilling a dozen. It looks like this guy also has some chaos black uh, on his uniform, some black on his uniform, so I am going to be adding that as well. Hey, thanks for all the comments and everything. I'm going to try to respond to them all. Uh, and, and private messages I've been really bad about. I, I've just been posting videos and, um, and, and rendering and uploading. Or I've been filming, rendering, and uploading. And not really um, taking the time to, to answer or respond to comments. I've just been kind of tired and lackadaisical. Step two. Mordian blue for the pants. <clears throat> but I will get to them, I promise. Mordian blue is also going to be the base coat for the uh, for the final color, which is going to be regal blue. Because I kind of like the, the way that regal blue is. Um, it's a nice dark. <clears throat> very rich color, so yeah, I'm gonna add that to to our list as well. I guess Marius forgot to mention that. It's pronounced Marius. You, you puffed up. What? What does that even mean? So it looks like he's got one big boot, and this leg goes all the way down. Oh my goodness. Doctor says my cough should go away soon. Oh, it's been killing me. <clears throat> so a week I have vacation and I got this cough that won't go away. But yeah, great times to be an Empire player. Great, great times. If you haven't seen the new pictures for the Empire models, the new Empire models, <coughs> then, oh boy, they are enough to get you to put down your vampire counts. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, I have vampire counts videos I gotta do too. So much to do. I'm kind of trying to catch this, the wave of anticipation for the uh, Empire release because it's going to be awesome. Okay, okay, okay. What do I need now? Next, I'm going to be using uh, Chaos Black to paint the back of this guy's tunic as well as the um, the front. It looks like in the in the picture the guy's vest or his jerkin is black. Could be Yeah, it could could have been it could have gone with Calton Brown too but I think they want to save the brown for the straps that go over the shoulders.
Talern Flesh. <coughs> I guess one of the reasons they wanted to change it to a Cadian Flesh Tone was because <laughs> they don't really push their Talern Flesh, or uh, Talern, what's it called, Desert Raiders product line. I haven't seen one on sale at my local hobby shop in forever. In fact, I can't really remember the last time I saw Talarn Desert Raiders used by anyone, let alone on the shelves. Somebody must have picked it up and maybe they're just like a collector like me and have it somewhere in their garage sealed up in a box, never to see the light of day or the feel the, the soft brush strokes painting Talarn flesh onto their skin. Oh, so sad. The plight of unpainted models, you know what I mean? What am I talking about? This cough medicine making me loopy. I am just going to paint the Talarn flesh in his mouth and fix that later. It's not green for the feather. I bet you all were wondering, what? It's not green. That doesn't make any sense. I believe the uh, plumage, the feathers that they wear in the uniforms and heraldry book, at least, kind of denote which regiment they belong to. And I think that is really awesome. Some, some of the feathers are green, some of them are red, like, the, like their uniform. Some of them are yellow. At least I think it's to denote their units if you have like a bunch of them on the field. All right, this is where you should look like at the end of the first 10 minutes. Next we're gonna get on to the browns and the metals. Okay, so I found my regal blue. Actually, uh, Igor found my regal blue. So we're gonna continue painting. Master? Yes, Igor? Who was that scary man that was here just a little while ago? Oh, that was, uh, Marius, or Marius, Fiefel Dorfinkton. He was, uh, he's gonna be our, our special guest star for all of these Empire videos. Why do you ask? He scared me, master. Really? Why? Because of his... his silly clothes. The bright colors. And his giant mustache. Oh, Igor. You don't have to be afraid of giant mustaches. And the plumage on his hat. It was terrifying. I'm sorry, Igor. I should have warned you. I should have told you he was, he was coming over. I'll have nightmares forever, master. Um. <laughs> so, um. How are you and Katarina, the high elf? Oh, we're lovely. I just took her ice skating. That's good. She wants to see the new Transformers movie. <laughs> what? What year is this? It's 2012, there is no new Transformers movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Alright, so at this point, <coughs> before we get onto the metallics, you want to determine what is what on your model. Um, because so many of these state troopers come with uh, a bunch of different ornamentation that you're really gonna have to pick out. So, for example, I see 
that he's got uh, a, a little short sword strapped <coughs> here to his right leg. He's got another short little dagger strapped to the front. And it looks like these are, <coughs> I don't want to say purity seals. Um, no, no, you know, these are probably the things that tie, tie his uh, swords to his belt. <coughs> and then you've got his shoes and uh, this looks like parchment over here though that is kind of like purity seal ish for you for you 40 cares so we're gonna start with Calton Brown um, I am going all over the place with my storylines for my characters just to keep myself from getting bored so I apologize um, especially for those of you who don't watch my all of my videos and are like who are these characters before you go hitting the unsubscribe button, I'm not crazy. It's perfectly normal to make up little characters. Talk to yourself while you're painting. I'm not a weirdo. I just like to paint little plastic monster men in my spare time. Alright, so, um,. I don't know, what, what are the storylines of my characters? I've got Igor, the manservant, who passes me my paints and my brushes. Uh, I've got Louis, the necromancer, who likes to go to the clubs in his corpse cart and hit on the ladies. Um, Igor now has a girlfriend, I guess, who's named Katerina, and she's a high elf. And uh, that's apparently very gross, because high elves, and I don't even know what Igor is. I assume Igor is just a crypt, are you a crypt horror, Igor? Well, that's not a very polite way of putting it, master. We prefer to call ourselves the crypt enabled. Alright. And, um... I'm assuming you're undead. Uh, no. Again, that is the improper way of calling it. The proper term is, uh, heartbeat and breathing dysfunctional. Because I don't have either at the moment. Alright. So how is it that a high elf and you, you know what, never mind, never you mind. <clears throat> After I'm done painting the brown leather like uh, straps and stuff for this bit, I'm going to also be using my Calton Brown to paint up the, uh, what is going to be gold, but it's going to end up as gold. Like Marius said, um, Altdorf, a lot of gold uh, for the trim. Mainly red and blue, of course, but um, they are the richest city-state in the empire. They're the seat of the em uh, emperor. I think the only city that comes close is, is Nuln. Um, but as the seat of the emperor, I think, um, from what I read in the in the fluff in the book. They're very ostentatious. They like to show off their money. Also, that's kind of what I read also in the Warhammer fantasy roleplay. Sigmar's heir's companion piece. Talking about each of the city-states of the empire and their politics and how the people are and everything. That's a great, great resource as well for you empire players. Yeah, so, I'm going to just paint this entire sword because some of it is going to be gold and some of it is just going to be um, the wraparound for the handle, whatever those are called. 
Yeah, you wouldn't have a, a drawn dagger right next to your crown jewels. Can't tell really what this is. It looks like a, another tassel, so I'm gonna paint that in um, gold. But I realized this when I was I, um, uploading the first clip of this video that I was like, oh, when I was picking out what model to paint for Altdorf, I was like, this guy with the skull on the shield looks pretty cool. And then I realized that it's the this is the best choice I could have chosen for Altdorf because he's got the KF or the Karl Franz on the shield and the crown to symbolize the emperor. So well done, Warboss Tay. Also, I'm going to paint the hilt and pommel of the sword in and brown because it's going to be gold oh I didn't even pick out a gold color shining gold is going to be our gold but in this next step we're going to paint the metal with chainmail So this is a sword, helmet, and um, breastplate. And then shining gold. <coughs> e four. Yes, monster. Please fetch my shining gold. Here you are, monster. You can get started on this. I run out of time on my camera, then I'll just finish off camera, as it were. You see how you really consolidate some time by painting um, the base coats on similar base coats. I would have had to do a couple of applications of shiny gold if I hadn't painted a Calton Brown base coat. So, um, not sure how the new metallics are going to work. Maybe they'll be better. If not, though, um, doing the Calton Brown base coat and then doing the metallic is really going to help speed up your process and that looks like just about it so we will move into our next step in just a bit okay so waiting for the last clip to upload I decided to paint the trim on the front of his breastplate in gold so first I started with um, Calton Brown and I just painted these lines on. Now I'm going back over with my shiny gold.
So you get something, something like that. And I'm gonna clean up the um, chain mail. I've also decided to change the um, these brown Calton brown uh, pennants to our denim stone to make it look like parchment. Actually, the cotton brown makes a good base coat. So, it wasn't a mistake. I meant to do it. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. Actually, for all of you Empire players out there who are still watching and not just skipping to the next clip, I'm curious to know, like, how do you paint your your halberdiers? Because their arms come right in front of their chests, making it like impossible to paint all of this detail. Do you just paint? Do you paint everything before you attach the arms and then just paint the arms, or do you paint like do you attach them all and then paint them together? <coughs> Seeing as how the state troopers aren't going to get a new kit, um, I'm just curious to see how all of you paint your your halberdiers. Halberdi, 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 halberdiers. That's all, folks. Okay, and um, let's give him a blue headband to contrast with the red top. let this dry for a moment then uh, everybody get your washes ready and we will once this last blue is dried we will begin washing our state trooper actually one thing we can do while we're waiting for the wash to dry is give him some teeth because your old dwarf a fantastic medical plan. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Okay, so we're gonna get started with Bad at Black. And um, I am going to add, just for fun, <coughs> the washes, but all red. And um, what was the other one? A sermon blue to the list, just because um, I, I was thinking about doing the badat black over the reds and the blues. And <coughs> um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to do that. So what we're doing with the with the black though is we're hitting all the silver parts, sword, and the gold parts, as well as the the leather. So the everything in the sword. Okay, 
the helmet. The breastplate, as you saw me do. There. So I want to hit his the inside of his mouth. Shield. And any of the leather down here. So like the shoes. the uh, back of the harness, and I think that's about it. All the brown, all the straps and whatnot. Oh, you're also going to hit the uh, parchment, or what I'm going to call fantasy purity seals, on the two holstered daggers. And this, you know, this part, I'm just going to really leave up to you to figure out because a lot of you have, a lot of these state troopers have um, different things, like I said, like skulls and, and bottles and um, uh, hourglasses. So I'll give you the ones that I find as we go through these. And if, if this doesn't apply to your model, then hey, don't worry about it. For <clears throat> Altorf, though, you're definitely going to need at least the Bad Ab Black to do the metal. The Ogren Flesh for the skin, which is our next color. The face and the two hands. And Thraka green for the feather <coughs> or feathers. And the all red and the sermon blue. The um the gold you could also paint in Griffin Sepia to give it more of a reddish kind of feel and um, that will work fine too. In fact I even think I said Griffin Sepia at the beginning as one of my colors. So if you haven't already painted in Bad Eye Black or if you want a slightly different look than the Bad Eye Black then Griffin Sepia will do a wonderful job as well. <laughs> Igor, yes monster, would you be so kind and find me the Assyrian in Blue Wash, please. Of course, Master. I'm just going uh, to uh, over here in the Here you are, Master. Thank you. Now get back behind the camera. Yes, Master. It looks like I missed a little dollop on his um, headband. So from here, you really just need to let the washes dry and then go back over and um, paint in the 
details again, or paint back up using your base colors. And just doing that is going to give you a really nice finish. For example, painting where the light hits up the uh, regal blue and mechrite red. For my quote unquote good armies, like Empire, I find that using bleached bone as a highlight color, adding a tiny bit of bleached bone into your base coat is going to give you really nice, uh, a nice color to work with and off of. doesn't wash out your color like skull white wood and um, yeah. but if you don't want to do that if you're like trying to get through your hordes of state troopers really quickly the stems of the feathers then you can just finish up there I will show you how to do eyeballs right now. A little bit of chaos black. And you're just going to paint horizontal slashes. Where each eye is going to be. like like that and these are just placeholders so don't worry if it comes out looking like you know some disgusting mutant hey there's nothing wrong with disgusting mutants I'm sorry sorry Igor space was gray I'm quite insulted by that remark Apologize there, old man. So you want to wipe, wipe most of it off your brush so you've only got like a little dollop of it. Your space was gray and then you're going to just color into the black. You want to leave a black rim around the white, almost like eyeliner. <laughs> and then lastly, we're going to take our Chaos Black one more time and do vertical slashes for the pupils. Focus, there we go. This guy just looks like he's been drinking too much, but I think that looks okay. Ooh. What we're going to do now to finish it, bring him back to the land of the living, is give him some Talarn flesh. Um, clean, clean him up around the eyes a little. So I'm highlighting... Focus around the nose and then right under the cheekbones so that we can take away some of this black lining, make his eyes a little bit smaller. The thing that I've noticed about fantasy eyeballs is that oftentimes they are too big. If you make your eyeballs smaller, they'll look more realistic. Found. Yeah, I've seen some, I'm sure you've all seen some crazy, 
crazy big examples of giant eyeballs. I found to get uh, realism, you wanna bring the eyeballs down as much as you can. Yeah, and that's not really completely 100% realistic, but for me, that's okay for where we are. I'm gonna finish this model up and um, and I'll show you what it looks like uh, completed and based in just a second. Ah, oh, I forgot the glue basing material on the model beforehand. Oh my goodness. This must have been before I started doing my preferred basing method. Ah, that's right, I'll do it now. Okay, so here is our finished model, our outdoor swordsman. And um, let me tell you some of the things that I did to finish him off. Besides the basing, which you can see in my how to base or how I base my minis video, I gave him a little bit more regal blue highlights on the pants and the shield, and then I tied it down with some acerman blue wash. Oh, look at that mold line. Um, for the top, I actually gave him some blood red highlights, and then I. Um, I tied that down with some Baal red wash and then I just lightly highlighted up again. You'll notice on the feather I gave it a white uh, accent and I did that with Space Wolves Grey and Skull White. So I hope you like it. I, um, Like I said, this is going to be the first of my series of videos on how to paint uh, in the different city-states colors and uh, this is Altdorf. So uh, the next province that we're going to be hitting after Altdorf is Averland, which is going to be a lot of yellows, beiges, browns, and blacks. <clears throat> so thanks for watching, hope you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one.